So in this video, we are going to learn how to multiply and divide complex numbers. Let's start off with how to multiply complex numbers. Now in multiplying complex numbers, we assume all the quantities involved as real and use j square equals negative 1 to simplify at the end. So let's solve these questions together. So for i, we have 3 plus 2j multiplying 4 minus 5j. So to multiply these two complex numbers, we are going to pick 3 and then multiply it across 4 and then negative 5j. Next, we are going to pick 2j and also multiply across 4 and then negative 5j. So that becomes 3 times 4 minus 5j plus 2j times 4 minus 5j. Now let's multiply across. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times negative 5j, we have negative 15j. 2j times 4 is 8j and then 2j times negative 5j we are going to have 2 times negative 5 we have negative 10 and then j times j is j square now we know that j square is equal to negative 1 so we can simplify this to have 12 negative 15j plus 8j gives negative 7j and then we have negative 10 times negative 1. So we have 12 minus 7j. Negative 10 times negative 1 is plus 10. So finally, we have 12 plus 10, which is 22, minus 7j. So this becomes our final answer. Now for ii. We have 2 plus 4j multiplying 3 minus j. So we also pick 2 and then we distribute it across 3 minus j as well as picking 4j and also distributing it across 3 minus j. So we have 2 times 3 which is 6. 2 times negative j is negative 2j. 4j times 3 is 12j. And then 4j times negative j becomes negative 4j square. Let's simplify. We have 6. Negative 2j plus 12j becomes 10j. And then this becomes negative 4 times negative 1. 6 plus 10j, negative 4 times negative 1 is 4. 6 plus 4 is 10, so we have 10 plus 10j. At this point, we can factor out 10, so that we have 10 into bracket 1 plus j. Now let's move on as we discuss complex conjugate numbers. So given that z is equal to x plus jy, then we say that the complex conjugate of z is equal to x minus jy. So for example, if we have z1 to be equal to 2 plus 3j, then the complex conjugate of z1 is equal to 2 minus 3j so basically it is the sign that changes now notice that a complex number times its conjugates gives a real number so for example if we have z1 times z1 bar then that is going to be we have z1 to be 2 plus 3j and then we have z1 bar to be 
2 minus 3j. Now let's try to multiply these two complex numbers. So we have 2 times 2 minus 3j plus 3j times 2 minus 3j. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times negative 3j is negative 6j. 3j times 2 is 6j. And then we have 3 times negative 3. That is negative 9. j times j is j squared. So we have 4. Negative 6j cancels out positive 6j. We are left with minus 9. And then j squared is equal to negative 1. So we have 4 plus 9. And this is equal to 13. So it is true that when you multiply a complex number by its conjugate, then you are going to have a real number at the end. Now let's move on to how to divide complex numbers. So how do we divide two complex numbers? Now to divide two complex numbers, you need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. So how do we solve this? So given 2 minus 5j divided by 3 plus 4j Basically, we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate of the denominator. Now, the complex conjugate of the denominator is 3 minus 4j. So, we are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3 minus 4j. Now, let's simplify. So, we have 2 times... 3 minus 4j minus 5j times 3 minus 4j that is for the numerator all divided by now the denominator 3 times 3 minus 4j plus 4j times 3 minus 4j now let's simplify 2 times 3, we have 6. 2 times negative 4j is negative 8j. Negative 5j times 3 is negative 15j. We have negative 5 times negative 4, that is 20. And then we have j times j, which is j squared. For the denominator, 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times negative 4j is negative 12j. 4j times 3 is 12j. And then we have 4 times negative 4, negative 16. j times j is j squared. Now since j squared is equal to negative 1, this becomes 6 minus negative 8j minus 15j is negative 23j and then we have plus 20 times negative 1 so this becomes negative 20 divided by we have 9 negative 12j cancels out positive 12j so we have 9 minus 16 j square and that is negative 1 so negative 16 times negative 1 is 16 so this becomes 9 plus 16 now 6 minus 20 is negative 14 minus 23 j divided by 9 plus 16 is 25 Therefore, we say that 2 minus 5j divided by 3 plus 4j is equal to, we can simplify this as negative 14 over 25 minus 23j 
over 25. Now let's take the second question. So let's try this together. 4 minus 5j divided by 1 plus 2j. So we have 4 minus 5j divided by 1 plus 2j. We are going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugates of the denominator. So this becomes times 1 minus 2j divided by 1 minus 2j. So we multiply 4 by 1 minus 2j negative 5j by 1 minus 2j all divided by 1 into brackets we have 1 minus 2j plus 2j times 1 minus 2j let's simplify 4 times 1 is 4 4 times negative 2j is negative 8j negative 5j times 1 we have negative 5j negative 5 times negative 2 is 10 and then we have j times j which is j square so j square is equal to negative 1 so we have 10 times negative 1 all divided by 1 times 1 is 1 1 times negative 2j we have negative 2j 2j times 1 is we have plus 2j and then 2 times negative 2 we have negative 4 j times j is j square which is negative 1 so this becomes 4 negative 8j minus 5j is negative 13j 10 times negative 1 is negative 10 divided by 1 negative 2j cancels out positive 2j negative 4 times negative 1 is 4 so we have 4 minus 10 which is negative 6 minus 13j all divided by 5 next we have negative 6 over 5 minus 13j over 5 so that is 4 minus 5j divided by 1 plus 2j.